Your favorite sports teams, political statements, something that you think is funny. But do you have any bumper stickers on your car? I will say this. I've got a bumper sticker that uh, shows my support of the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team. Something I passionately believe in. Still waiting for most positive results. But nonetheless, that's the only bumper sticker I've got in my vehicle. Uh, other people, though, have political statements, and, and that's fine. If people can put what they want on their cars. Fill your boots. You know, within reason. And amongst those would be someone who has statements about their diet or what they do and don't eat or what they think others should or should not eat. So this is where some people apparently... Get real sensitive real fast. Look, whatever someone else eats, that's what they eat for me. So if someone says, hey, defend animals as a bumper sticker, I've got no problem with that. Go vegan as a bumper sticker. Yep, that's whatever you want. You, you can express whichever political views you are so inclined to express. Abby McQuaig is having a problem with that, though. She's got a bunch of vegan supporting bumper stickers on her vehicle. That's cool. But she says that she's treated poorly on the roads by other drivers because of that. She joins in the phone lines to have a conversation about that right now. Hey, Abby, nice to talk to you again. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. Thanks. Yourself? I'm doing all right. Good, good. So tell us about, you know, for people who haven't seen the photo, you got, I'd say, what, about a dozen bumper stickers on here that uh, uh, support, you know, the vegan lifestyle or, uh, you know, friends, not food, things along those lines, which yeah, is fine. That's, that's people's political opinions. That's cool. Uh, your thoughts, though, on uh, what has happened to you because of these bumper stickers? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got I've got quite a variety of messages back there. Um, everything from like supporting local farm sanctuaries to um, uh, pictures of pigs or chickens that just say friend. Um, so there's a few few more that are like a bit more wordy and more triggering. I think, you know, if you love animals, you don't eat them. But the whole purpose of the messages really is just to um, try to plant seeds with people um, to get them to look at things differently, look at what they're eating, look at who they're eating differently. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, it does trigger some people into um, getting quite violent. And the other night I had an interaction with the guy who endangered tri- like people in the road, but also just felt that it was his right to yell very rude things out his window at me while he was doing it. And I, I hate that. It's, it's, it's just dangerous. That's what it is. It's just dangerous. And also it makes you a jerk. So even if there wasn't the danger element, like, you know, okay, someone else has a different opinion for you, uh, than you on whether or not someone should eat chicken. Uh, you don't have to yell at them for it. Yeah, like I see, honestly, I, on the highways, I see a lot of bumper stickers and things that I don't agree with. But I, I honestly would never wish ill or want to harm the driver or, or go out of my way to, like, endanger their lives, you know? Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, again, if we're talking about, like, throwing items at a car, who knows what that could mean? It could land on the windshield, obviously. It could make the person swerve into something. It is, uh, it, it obviously is uh, illegal for good reason. Uh, have you talked to police about this? I haven't yet. Um, a couple of my friends have had similar interactions in the past, and they basically told me that police can't really do anything, and, and especially if you don't have dash cams already. Right. So I am going to be doing that um, as soon as possible, front and rear, just to kind of have evidence next time that this happens and to, you know, not let the bullies get away with whatever they think they can do. And that's the, the frustrating part is people just want to, you know, bully people and, and, and do it to, to feel better about themselves or something. Look, I don't this know. This episode hey, of SciShow is sponsored the, by Maybe the Brit- person who's mad at you is a chicken farmer or something. Like, okay, that's mm. fine. And obviously you two are going to have a disagreement over whether or not uh, there should be such a thing as a chicken farmer. But uh, that doesn't mean that you can uh, endanger uh, you and other people on the road because you're mad at this person. No, yeah, I don't I don't think that's warranted. I mean, and I'm like I'm not I'm not trying to preach like and and say that this is how everyone should be or that veganism is a solution. That's not what I'm saying. I, the whole idea with the messages is just to kind of like get people to think and and if they're ready for like a new um change in their life, then this might be the sign they're looking for. And really all of what I'm putting back there is all about preaching nonviolence and and more compassion to not like not just to the animals, but to people um, to people's own health and the environment. And so, I don't know, I think it's, it's interesting and kind of sad that the reaction is an angry one. 
Yeah, in- incredibly sad. Uh, so what would you say if the person who is uh, yelling at you or throwing something at your car, whatever it happens to be, is listening to the show right now, what would you say to them? Honestly, I'd, like, uh, I I kind of want to sit down and have like a vegan burger. I know a lot of great restaurants in London that we could go to. Yeah. Let's, let's talk it out because I don't, I, I'm sure there's a reason that they responded in that way. And, and, and if they're feeling threatened, then I don't know, let's talk it out. But I really don't think violence is the answer. Oh, God, no, of course not. Uh, uh, I'll ask you this, and, and look, I, I'm not saying you should have to do this, and I, I, I genuinely am curious as the answer, though. Have you thought about removing the bumper stickers or obscuring them in some way because of this stuff? Because it's kind of scary. Yeah, well, and especially because, like, I do give rides to my ki- uh, my husband's kids quite a bit, so it is a matter of their safety, not just mine, um, and what I want to expose them to, you know, that kind of thing, so... I think what I'm going to be doing is removing at least a few of them um, and perhaps leaving up hopefully some of the farm sanctuary ones or, I don't know, less offensive to people. Um, but yeah, the dash cams hopefully will prevent even if there is some interaction like that in the future. But, yeah, I would. Uh, at the very least, you'd be able to say to the person, "Hey, I'm, I've, I uh, know where you are, or whatever. I have your license yeah. plate number. I can talk to the police or whatever it happens to be." But mm-hmm. I, I look at these these bumper stickers, and, and, and you've sent out a, sent us a picture of the uh, the back of your vehicle here. It's not, mm-hmm. "Hey, you're uh, you're a horrible person if you eat meat." That's not that's not what it says <laughs> in the back of your car. It says, and I read them off earlier. It says, "Defend animals, uh, support sanctuaries, not slaughterhouses." Friends, not food. Uh, yeah. Again, you don't have to agree with those messages, but they're not, like, super aggressive either. No, and, and honestly, my car, like, d- granted, it's a little ridiculous. I get it. There's a lot of messages. There's, a, there's a lot of bumper stickers, yeah. about a dozen, like I said. <laughs> but, I mean, I've even seen, like, some of my activist friends have cars that are completely decked out from top to bottom with all different kinds of messages that, you know, could be considered a lot better, worse, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I, I think still, regardless of how tacky or whatever my car looks like, it, it's not it's not an invitation to go harass and bully someone, you know? No, no, uh, certainly not. Uh, so anything else that you want to let uh, Londoners uh, know about on this as far as, you know, uh, road safety and, uh, and bumper sticker <laughs> activism before you wrap up here? Well, I mean, I honestly, I'm just kind of glad that it's the whole intention with the stickers, as I said, was to get people thinking about what they're eating uh, differently. And so I'm glad that it is sparking a bigger, wider conversation about that. Um, so hopefully that people, you know, will listen to that message and think, hey, maybe if someone is so passionate about this, there is a reason that, that we should look at what we're doing to animals and if that's even necessary, because it's not. And uh, there's lots of alternatives. And London is such a vegan friendly city. Um, I think it's just it's just a select small few who are a little bit louder and a little bit more aggressive. But overall, I think the city is really supportive of, of uh, you know, freedom of speech. Ah, I would uh, hope so as well. Uh, Abby, thank you so much for this. Uh, Good to talk to you. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, thanks for the time. Have a good day. You too. Bye now. That's uh, my conversation with with Abby McQuaig, who is a uh, vegan activist in this community, which, again, you know, people can be activists what they want. She suggests that eating animals, not what we should do. Okay, cool. That's not what I do. But I'm also not throwing garbage and metal at her car. So I feel pretty good about that. Low bar, I know. You've been listening.